Hello, Tad Hack. My name is Mike Carnes, and I will be presenting today with my son, Elias Carnes. So who are we? Uh, in the picture there on the right, you see that's myself. I'm Mike Carnes, and then my son, Elias Carnes, is on the left. And we decided that this year we would uh, take on a hackathon. It's my son's first hackathon, first time coding. I thought it'd be really fun to uh, learn how to code and uh, you know, possibly win a prize. And so he, he was pretty competitive and excited to try it. So you might wonder where our hack idea came from. So, you know, I, I'm a parent of three kids and, you know, with, with COVID-19, uh, you know, I've had to juggle working at home and trying to help kids with their, with their school and having uh, a first grader, a fifth grader and a ninth grader makes it kind of difficult to, to work, uh, balance work and, uh, schoolwork. So we were, we were trying to think of ways that uh, we could come up with a hack that could help parents that are struggling during this time. So what, what did we use to do our hack? So the first thing we, we decided to do was use uh, the symbol uh, .ai to build what we were going to call lecture helper. And what, what the idea of that is, is to take the web videos that uh, the kids use daily uh, f when they're talking to their teachers and add comments so that when we're doing homework later, uh, the parents can help find where the, what where they were talking about that in class. Uh, the next thing is uh, IntelliPeer. Uh, IntelliPeer, we had some ideas to do a few things. We, we, we built a voice menu so that parents can call in and check on the kids' grades. So the first app I'll show you is the what we call the lecture helper. And, and this particular app is, is one we created to transcribe his daily Zoom meetings. Here's a quick overview of how the lecture helper works. After the instructor's class is complete, a video file is stored in an AWS S3 bucket, and we have a Lambda function that watches for that new file. The new file triggers a Lambda that calls the uh, symbol.ai uh, submit new conversation API. And once that once that's done being submitted, it, it waits for uh, a job, uh, the job ID to finish. And then once it sees that that job has finished, then it the next step is it uses the get messages API over back at symbol.ai to pull down the uh, JSON copy of the conversation. And that JSON conversation goes back into the Lambda function and is then written to a DynamoDB table. Uh, and the final step is that DynamoDB table is being monitored by another Lambda, and that Lambda uh, re reaches out to DynamoDB and publishes it to a web page that includes the video and transcription. And after that's done, then mom can go search for the lecture notes and uh, help during homework time. And to show you the final product we got here. Hi, my name's Mrs. Lunch. Um, I'm here to do um, the notes for 3-3 day two. Our topic is slope intercept form. So as you can see, it, it, it translated it pretty nicely. And over here, you can see the different timestamps. So if I were a user, for, my, for example, one of my kids, I need, what I can do is I can say, uh, if they have a question on slope intercept form, I can go back to the, the transcription notes and say, okay, where is she talking about slope, slope intercept form? Um, I'm going to show you the Grade Helper app that I made during the Hackathon 2020. It basically, you call this number, and after that, it tells you your grades for each kid or individual that you have set up for it. Thank you for calling Grade Nation. To hear a license grades, press 1. To hear Sophia's so I'm going to do my grades, grades, which is to 1. To hear Logan's grades, press 3. To hear Elias's English grades, press 1. To hear Elias's algebra grades, press 2. To hear Elias's biology grades, press 3. To hear Elias's geography grades, press 4. To hear Elias's PE grades, press 5. To hear Elias's band grades, press 6. To hear Elias's computer science grades, press 7. So I'm going to press 2. Eliza's algebra grade is 89.
Thanks again, sponsors, especially to Avaya, Telepeer, and Symbol AI. We really had a good time. I appreciate it. Look forward to doing it again next year.